It's like the Russian roulette of food poisoning. There we go, food poisoning back. Oh, who's a good little food poisoning? Who's a good little food poisoning ready to make my day bad? My back. My back from outer space or wherever we go when you know. We reload a game. Welcome everyone. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die. My name is Dark Ramnik. And I was actually kind of worried that I was going to be surrounded by dogs for a moment there. Because as I was uh, quitting the game last time, there was actually dogs heading my direction. It's like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. But they seem to have despawned. So, because <laughs> you know, I didn't notice them until I was actually quitting. And it's like, hey, wait a second. How long have they been there for? <laughs> that would have been terrifying if, you know, I loaded back in. Oh joy, they're eating me. <laughs> hey, what, that looks a little blurry. Here, yeah, I wonder why the box don't look too right. Meh. It's still only, you know, early access alpha. It's an early access alpha. Yes, it's a very strange sounding word, but it's it's the word to use. <laughs> so, you know, there's still bound to be bugs and stuff like that. So, what are we doing this episode? Hells if I know! Surviving the night? Surviving the day? Surviving the zombies? Surviving everything. I don't know. I'm just building right now because, you know, it would be nice to have something so that way zombies don't see me and eat me and stuff like that. Although I should probably go out and do other stuff because there's only a few day uh, hours left of daytime before, you know, I have to go inside and protect myself. I don't want to get caught out in the dark again like last time. Ow! Holy... How did he hit me? They don't normally reach that far. He didn't even swing at me or anything like that. He just... One moment he was there and the next moment he's hit me. That looks so weird. Glug 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 glug. Somebody help me! <laughs> weird ass zombies. Whoa, these trees are way bigger. Where the hell's the... There it is. I'm like... The tree's so big you can't actually see past the actual leaves. Makes it a bit difficult to do much with it. Except, you know, hope that there's no zombies hiding inside it because it seems like a place that a zombie could hide really easily. Much longer till that zombie reaches me. Holy sh Someone else is coming. I heard more than one zombie. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? I don't know. I know I heard a second one, but where is he? <sighs> These sneaky zombies make a crap ton of noise, yet, you know, don't show up. You the one that was making all the noise? You must be. What the holy hell is he doing? When did they do that? That was weird. You think he sees me? He must, right? He made a whole bunch of noise. I don't know. Not coming closer. Maybe I'm safe? I don't know. He's not... He's not coming closer, so I must be safe for now. Which is weird. I wonder if these trees provide any stealth mechanics, you know what I mean? Like, hey, I'm hiding in here. I'm ducked down. Clearly you guys can't see me now, you know? My noise that guy's making. Terrifying. Hey, wait, I know how to deal with him. I'll just shoot an arrow in his knee. Here, zombie, 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 zombie. Here, zombie, 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 zombie. Oh, that went well. Better. Hello. H Hello. 
Could you stop shattering my arrows? It's really annoying. I'd like to keep them a little. <laughs> Sounds like a pig. <laughs> Are we going to bacon for dinner? Wow, you take a lot of arrows to kill. Give me those arrows. I think I've probably got plenty of wood, right? Meh, not as much as I would like, but probably is enough to help a lot. And I really need some stone and stuff if I'm going to be doing some surviving. So, let's get some stone. Are they fancier than they used to be? I swear it looks more detailed. Or well, I'm just imagining things. Either, either. Oh, well, that was convenient timing. I didn't mean to do it right when it stopped working. Okay. Don't know why, you know, when you click scrap, it says item needs repairs and stuff. It's like it attempts to use it as you're trying to scrap it, which is a really strange thing for it to do. Don't know why it would want to use it as you're scrapping it, but hey. Come on, give me that. That's some strange hitbox it's got there. As you can see, I figured out how to toggle crouch. <gasps> I noticed that while editing, although I probably pointed out to you guys while I was editing. It's like, yeah, hey, I actually have toggle crouch now. <gasps> There's two crouch buttons, which is a strange thing to do, is it? Like having two separate crouch functions and buttons. Most games just say, you know, enable toggle crouch. This one's like, yeah, you can crouch and you can toggle crouch. You know, here you got choices. <laughs> Give me all that. I need it. I need the stone. How much stone do I have? Only 88? Wow. I really hope concrete ain't too expensive, otherwise I'm boned. <laughs> uh... I wonder how many um points I get per level, because if you only get one point per level, I am also burned because, you know, I used a lot of points in the last episode from, you know, completing those quests, and I don't feel like I get much XP for doing much of anything, do I? I wonder how easy it is to get hold of clay now. Is that clay? Or is that the boulder there? I think that's the boulder there. Perhaps I do vaguely remember reading that clay is now something you collect just from digging dirt. Maybe? I don't know. It's a vague memory. I could be wrong. That's definitely dirt I'm picking up, right? Find out in a moment. Clay soil or loam is key resource for forging and farming. It can be harvested from topsoil. Okay, you just get clay from any old ground, huh? That's strange, but okay. I'll accept that. For now. Come on, give me some clay. I need it. Oh, it's also giving me sand. Can't make up its mind what it wants to give me. Boink. Punchy, punchy, punchy. Lawnmower simulator with Mr. Punchy Hands. Yoink. Supposedly animals are a lot more uh, frequent now. That would be good if, you know, the fact that I actually find some. I mean, how many animals have I found since I actually started playing the Alpha 17? What was it, that one bunny rabbit that I chased and then left alone? I really don't see any now. Here, lunchy, 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 lunch. Here, lunchy, lunchy, lunch. Lunchy, lunch. What? There we go. I'm like, I'm wondering, I was like, which direction was I heading again? <laughs> Everything looks so... Fancy smanchy now. It makes it a little disorientating which direction you're actually going. It's like 
It's like normally, you know, you look at different things. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's the direction I'm heading because, you know, you recognize landmarks by how they all looked and stuff like that. But now that the graphics are, well, a bit nicer, just like everything looks different. The landmarks, they're a little on the... It takes a moment to realize which direction you're heading and stuff like that. For example, I wonder if there's like the radio tower over there. There was always a radio tower before, but don't see it from here. And you know, it's normally pretty tall, but it could just be covered by the trees right now. Really hard to tell. No? Must have been hearing things. Like, yeah, must have been hearing things. Nom 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 nom! Brains! <laughs> I should probably, you know, start working on putting some more frames up on my base soon if I want to actually not be stuck out in the middle of the night again. I am slightly worried about some of the uh, complaints I've heard about the new, uh, structure system, you know, the building system. Supposedly building is a little on the weak side, if you know what I mean, like you can build yourself a nice solid structure of metal and stone and wood and everything else. And yet zombies go from like a freaking chainsaw, supposedly. You're like, what's the point of building bases if you know you can't actually do much with, uh, because you know they get getting broken by zombies so easily. Like, uh, and they do have a point, you know what I mean? It's like, why would you want to do much of anything if the zombies are just going to break your base too easily? I should have, you know, not put that there. I'm kind of a little worried about what I'm going to do with that treasure chest over there. At least this roll I can pick up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, put that there. Oh, that bloody fist punch thing is still on. <laughs> Supposedly that was a bug introduced with the last patch. Others are complaining about it. Meh, something they'll fix eventually, or get around to fixing, you know, when the next patch comes out. I'm going to need some more wood frames, let's say another 50. How much is this using? Oh, it only used 100. But it said it used 800. I'm like, oh crap, that's a lot. Okay. So, too high or three high? Now we'll just go too high. Oh, um. Put that there. There. Boop, 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 boop. Like, get some walls up so that way I can spend all night I like inside. Away from zombies eating me. It'll be great. You know, not being eaten by zombies at night time. Heck, I may even be able to dig a hole under my base. How's that sound? <laughs> it's like, yeah! I can get stone and stuff. Although, considering how slow things are, you know, in this version, it's like, is mining gonna be any good? I don't know, it's like, digging into the ground is a bit on the slow side. I'm kind of worrying mining is going to be on the crappy side, you know? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's going to be fine. Maybe I'm just worrying about nothing, you know? And I'm worrying about a lot of things in this game. Surely everything's going to be fine. Yeesh. Do we have so much wood? Have enough time to pick up some more trees? Probably. Supp um, from what I read, forges aren't as important as they used to be. I'm like, ooh, that... That doesn't sound good. I mean, forges are... An important uh, piece of everyone's survival. It's like... What are you supposed to do with forges in a part of your survival? Run around and collect items from zombies? How horrifying is that? <laughs> Supposedly the game is a bit more, um... Diablo-ish? Would that be the best way to say it? Diablo-ish? 
Where instead of, you know, running around, fighting stuff, fighting stuff, running around, finding stuff, crafting stuff and all that, you know, surviving and building stuff and just having fun, supposedly the game is more, uh, run around, kill, 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 collect, kill, 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 collect, kill, kill, kill. kill. Like, but half the game is supposed to be about crafting, right? And surviving. Well, I thought the whole point was, you know, fighting zombies isn't the easiest thing to do. So, you know, you want to uh, craft your base and stuff like that to, to survive. If you're just leveling up just so that way you can kill more zombies and stuff like that. It's like, I thought this was supposed to be survival. I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining things like I haven't gotten too far into the game yet. Maybe I'm all wrong. Maybe everything's perfectly fine and I'm just worrying about nothing. I don't know. Okay. Get some more wood. Choppy chop 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 because I would have liked to have gone uh, to try to see if I could take the walking stiff. <laughs> would have been an interesting attempt, you know. I'm kind of worried that, you know, I'm just going to be stuck out at night time the whole time. And, you know, I'm not going to get a chance at the walking stiff. Working stiff. <laughs> the walking stiff. <laughs> okay, let's all go into the walking stiff. <laughs> because that's now its new name. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a bad porno. <laughs> How much stone do I have? 119. That's not too bad. It could be worse. Trying to be helpful getting some stuff done, you know. Don't know what stuff, but stuff indeed. And look, one more stone. Just for the funsies. What's that noise? You're imagining things. I'm always imagining things in this game. Like I'm imagining that I'm a good player. <laughs> Definitely imagining that one. I'm imagining that this game doesn't scare the pads out of me at times. Oops, no stamina. I'm imagining that I can survive without food. I'm very bad at finding food, ain't I? Really affects your stamina. There ain't much I can do about it though, because where is all the animals and stuff? I don't know. The food, water, everything. Ah, where are you all hiding? Well, at least I'll have corn. And food poisoning! Because fresh corn gives you food poisoning these days. <gasps> There's <laughs> like a comment that I did, you know, the other day. It's like, yeah, hey, corn. It's like, please, what would you like with your uh, with your uh, nice, fresh, and healthy piece of corn? Yes, can I please have a dose of poison? <laughs> it's like, yeah, sure, because you know, corn on the cob comes with poison these days. It's not like it's bloody chicken or anything like that. No salmonella here. Okay, hey, this is giving me a lot of XP. Nice! Far out! Who knew punching corn was so good in XP? Almost a thousand XP just from punching corn. Give me all that. Give me all the sweet, sweet and delicious XP. Who cares about the corn? I just want the XP. <laughs> yeah, night time is... I'm pretty sure at 22, 2200 hours, or however it's pronounced in military format because I'm not very good at military terms. <laughs> Just too much movies and stuff like that, too much TV and movies. Oh, I got this row, I really should get back into base because I do not want to be seen out here by the zombies. Okay. Get some of these walls up. I 
I don't see any zombies. It should be fine ish. I don't know. It's been mostly fine with the zombies, it has been. It's those two that I fought beforehand. Everything else has mostly left me alone. And when night rolls up, I'll probably have to turn the gamma up again. Yep, probably have to turn the camera up. Come on, wood frames. Let's at least get a small barrier up, so that way they're less likely to see me. Although, jumping up on top and building more wood frames is going to be a good surefire way of not bit hiding from the zombies. But hey! Uh... Oh, I didn't get my torch back. Crap. <laughs> I left it on the wall, didn't I? I hear someone. I hear someone out there. They sound dead. Inside and out. Take some food poisoning. Let's uh, turn that gamma back up. 100%. And just leave it like that. That way I can actually see the zombies coming before they see me. And just hope that they don't tear my base apart trying to get to me. That would be very nice. Wait, didn't I put some steps to get out of here from inside? Maybe I'm imagining things. Yay. No. I see you. You don't see me though. Boink. Boink. And... Boink. Uh-oh. Why do you have to be so bloody close? Like, is it safe for me to snipe you? I mean, I did increase my stealth skills, right? I don't know. I don't particularly feel like having you tear my base apart getting to me. Hearing the horror stories about how quickly you guys tear apart bases. I really don't want that to happen to my extremely slowly built wood walls. But if you're getting closer, ma'am, I'm gonna have to see how sniping you goes. Probably gonna go very poorly for me. Lots of running and screaming and crying. Living next door to zombie neighbors is never fun. Especially if they call in reinforcements. If he calls in reinforcements, I am boned. Luckily she's not a screamer, otherwise I would be boned. You get the point, right? It's like... I don't know how tall I'm gonna make this. Oh, that's, uh, that's shadows? Oh, okay, that's a new lighting system. I thought there was some sort of weird watery glitch on the blocks for a moment there. I'm like, what the hell is that? I was gonna say, I don't know if I want to make this room three blocks high or two blocks high before working on the next floor. It's two blocks high feels a little short. But at the same time, building is so bloody slow. Kind of frustrating how slowly it's taking for doing everything. I think you get a little bit more XP than this just from building, but no, and look how long it takes just to do anything at all. Like, I'd like to speed up things, you know? Oh well. Oh. 
could have sworn I heard someone else. Maybe I'm imagining things. Gotta be careful. Not to piss off the neighbors. Well, this I got something to do at night time. Not die! <laughs> Ooh. You're getting closer. You're certainly moving around a lot, aren't you? Maybe she's gonna go for a swim and forget about me? That'd be nice. Oh, it turns out I've got more than one around here and, you know, I'm only paying attention to one. Oh, another sneaks up on me. Really shouldn't say that. <laughs> I've been paranoid. <laughs> okay. I know that's not the sound they make, but it sounds close enough, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that her? I think she's in the water, but I can't see her. Makes it very frustrating, you know? Yay. Okay. Well, at least there's, uh, this base ain't exactly going to be short, you know? Be a room three high. Because why not? Wow, that suddenly got bright. There she is! She's walking away from me. Thank God for that. I was really worried I was going to have to put a cap in her ass. I remember reading, someone mentioned, you can stealth, uh, if you got a horde of zombies at night time, you can stealth shot one by one by one by one, but don't double tap a zombie, otherwise they'll come at you. So maybe, if I was to cap her once, I'd be fine, and then I'd have to give her like a minute or two to forget about me. I don't know. Doesn't matter. She's over there now. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, let's just use this. Hopefully it helps with my stamina gain. And I don't have any water, do I? Bugger. Water would have been nice. Water would have been very nice. I could try filling these up if she wasn't by the shore. Well, it's still no food poisoning. That's good. I'm pushing my lap. Okay. Uh, campfire. Campfire. Yep. Get the campfire down. Is she coming back? It's where it sounds like she's coming back. Well, there she is. Let's be imagining things. Okay. Jump, 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 jump. If she wasn't so close to the water, I would go over there and put some water in my. Where'd she go? Is that her in the water? I don't know. I don't see any movement. Fucking stealth zombies! Big pain in the butt they all are. 
<laughs> it should be like them, you know. It's like, hey, you go distract her, you know, over there. She'll keep an eye on you and we'll sneak up on you. <laughs> Sounds like something zombies would do, right? Oops. Ooh, she's doing that weird jumping thing again. Really weird looking thing for a zombie to be doing. Really tempted to attempt to put a cap in her ass, just to see what happens. <laughs> Oh, there she is. Can't put a capper in her ass yet, though, because I can't really see her very well. I think she'd be able to get me up from there. And I could go up there and try to cap her from up there. Right? I don't know. Uh... There. And we'll put this over here. Oh, no, put that there. Okay. What do I have on me? Nothing too important. Okay, we'll scrap that. Put that there. Let's see about capping her, because you know. Building a base is fun and all that, but so is committing suicide to zombies. <laughs> the stupid thing is I'm getting close to the cornfield, which is not a safe place to be at night time. Not even a safe place to be at daytime, but that's not the point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yay. Well, I don't see any other zombies. Got no idea where she is. Probably a lot closer than I realized. <laughs> where is she? Oh, there she is! Fuck, she made some distance. Okay, time for me to commit suicide by a zombie. And that was a complete and utter miss. Uh, does this have a drop to it like it did beforehand? Oh, I got her! Hell yeah! Well, she's upset. Wait, don't they have a better pathing AI? Uh, come on. Buzz off. You know, I should have built my base up here. That would have been brilliant. <laughs> Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Well, oh, crap. What? Were you sneaking up on me? Holy shit, you were! Fuck you! Yeah. Bloody die already! Is she dead? Did I kill her? One for good measure. She's almost certainly dead. <laughs> almost certainly dead. Not entirely sure, but almost certainly. I could be wrong. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, she's definitely dead. She just vanished into thin air. Zombies do that now for some strange reason. 
I never even noticed. Wow, Gamma's cranked up and it's getting even darker. Dark enough that I can barely see. Sucks. But oh well. Hopefully it'll be fine because it's another hour of game time before daytime. I don't have to worry so much about being stuck out at night time. <laughs> the zombies. And I killed my next door neighbor, so I don't have to worry about her either. Yay! Everything is fine now. I am a little worried about that AI there. She was a little on the concerning side. Seemed like she had a somewhat general idea of how to get to me. And then the fact that it felt like she tried to sneak up on me kind of has me a little worried. Like, am I just imagining things? Is like she not as smart as I think she is? Or is she way more dangerous than I realize? I don't know. It's a little on the concerning side, you know? Okay. And wood floors up. Okay. Now, there is the floor. Doop -doop 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 -doop. And, okay. Um, if I want to do it, I should probably go move this. Oh wow, it's really dark here. And want that, that, that. I think that's how I want to do it. And then boop, boop, boop. Ah, uh, boop, 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 boop. Is that how I want it? I think that's how I want it. Cool, cool. And now I have another floor. And then I'll have some more wood walls too. Less reason to worry about zombies. And I will put my base door about here, maybe? Yeah, there, that should do the trick. Okay. Whoops, didn't mean to attack it. Go on. Do do. Do 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 Okay. We get that there. That there. Okay. And then my next trick, the zombie don't climb up. Holy crap, that's taller than I think it is. Uh, is too wide too much? I don't know. Guess, guess I'll find out in a moment. Daytime! Boop, 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 boop. Okay, let's see. It works. Not exactly the safest of gap, but A, it works. And just put a little lip there so that way I have no worries about falling. Yeah, that looks fine. Yay! I got a somewhat safish entrance into base. You know, no doors to attract zombies. Very nice. Okay, anything I want to take with me. Wait, I want to... Oh, I got water. Use it! Use it now! I do not need to go and dehydrate. Okay. Okay, we'll go up this way. Get some water in my can. I completely forgot I wanted to do that. When he killed the zombies, I could do this. And I completely forget. 
Okay. And... Boop. And then we get some wood in. Do, 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 a little bit. Wow, wood goes a lot longer than it used to, doesn't it? Uh, just give it 50 seconds. That should be enough, right? Okay, not quite enough. That should be enough. And give me some water, I need a little bit. Use! There. Let that fire burn itself out. Okay, I'm back to full water. That is less of a problem now for me. Now I have to have other things dealt with, like food and survival and stuff like that. I would go into the working stuff right now, except oh, i got five minutes left. So I might as well just bash some corn for free XP and hope I level up. <gasps> that make any sense? <laughs> it's like it gives me free XP, it gives me some food, and it clears out the area so that way I can see zombies coming from the cornfield. Do not need them sneaking up on me. I love how much XP this stuff gives me though. I, it's like bashing corn is more effective at gaining XP than probably killing zombies. Plus safer too. I know killing a zombie gives you like 700 XP and stuff like that, but still. It's like I could punch a ton of corn without having to worry about bloody getting murdered by zombies. I don't have to worry about dogs sneaking up on me. I actually no, I do have to worry about that one. <laughs> you always go. Wait, did I just punch faster? Wait, there's two punches. The hell? Okay. It's a bit draining on the stamina to swing two punches though. I don't want to complain. Probably also chewing a lot of my uh my food up, you know, because you got your know, max stamina is tied to your food, whatever. So by draining my stamina so much quicker, I'm probably also draining my food so much quicker. Yeah. Use. And use some more. Come on, food poisoning! It's like the Russian roulette of food poisoning. There we go! Food poisoning back! Oh, who's a good little food poisoning? Who's a good little food poisoning ready to make my day bad? We'll just get one more. What if there's two stages of food poisoning, you know? I don't even know what this one does. Does it like drain my stamina like it used to? Does it make my stamina regen slower? Could be anything. Could be anything. Yeah. Maybe it drains my max health. That'd be... That'd be horrible. How do I increase my max health? Maybe, uh... Maybe painkillers increases my max health? I don't know. Interesting. Yay! You are now level 4 and you get one bloody measly skill to spend. Joy! One skill to spend! <laughs> okay, increase melee and block damage. Yeah, I didn't notice this until I was bloody <laughs> editing last time. It's like I was editing and editing and then, hey, wait a second. That's where it all is. Reach your max health by 10. Hmm. Living off the land, craft seeds from crops. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Gain one HP every 30 seconds. Ooh. Gain max health per, per 40 seconds. That's nice too. Get more water. Get more food. Drug dehydrate you 50% less, 20% less chance of having drug withdrawal symptoms. 10, whoa, I didn't know you can get drug withdrawal symptoms now. Increase your max stamina. I wonder how many I need before I can 
buy one of that. I don't know, it's a little concerning. I'll buy one and see what happens. I don't know, maybe I need to buy more than one just to unlock it. That'd suck. Suck big time. Ooh! The symbol's changed. Feel sick to your stomach. Well, it didn't say food poisoning last time, did it? It just said, you know, you feel like something's coming on. But it didn't say food poisoning. But now it does! So now I know it's food poisoning. <laughs> I didn't know it was food poisoning before, and even though it was clearly the corn that I ate, the, you know, that fresh, delicious, and healthy corn. Have you ever had fresh, delicious, healthy corn? I have. It's delicious and fresh. And I'm pretty sure I would remember if I got food poisoning from it. It's very odd, you know? <laughs> oh, wait, the camera's way too high. Whoopsie. Maybe I was imagining things. Maybe I did get food poisoning from it. <laughs> uh, I probably should end this episode here, shouldn't I? Time's up now. Sadly. Sadly, time is up. This episode was a bit more, um... On the boring side, perhaps? I mean, I mainly stuck to camp trying to get myself a shelter built, because you know, I kinda need a shelter to survive. You know, night times aren't exactly the safest of places to be. I can't exactly raid any buildings at night time. And getting into the buildings is a bit of a pain in the ass in the first place. You know, by having a shelter, it's given me some place to... ...store my items and stuff like that. So a shelter was pretty necessary. Probably something I should have done on day one, but... You know, I thought, hey, everything's gonna be fine. I'll just go steal a point of interest, you know? Don't need to go waste my time by building a shelter. So I wasted a whole day, you know, doing something I should have been doing something else. <laughs> so now this day is, you know, shelter day and there's this long, slow day. And then, you know, long, slow night as I was building stuff. Oh, well, night wasn't too... Pro uh, and, uh, night was a bit productive. I mean, I was, you know, constantly building and stuff like that. And even though I was worried about the zombies, it didn't really stop me from building. And my real problem was the simple fact that it's so slow to get stuff done, so slow to build and slow, so slow to do much of anything. I'm sure if I, you know, get better equipment or level up and stuff like that, it'd be a lot better. But still, right now, as things are, it's like, oh my god, it takes forever to get anything done! Uh, <laughs> well, guys, this episode has been fun. It's been a blast. Especially that, you know, that bloody zombie. If you guys enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. You hit the like and subscribe button or share it with your friends. Otherwise, I'll see y'all next time. Bye! I'm just going to be stuck out at night time the whole time and, you know, I'm not going to get a chance at the walking stiff. Working stiff. <laughs> the walking stiff! <laughs> okay, let's all go into the walking stiff. <laughs> because that's now its new name. <laughs>